All right, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the current beta build of Coach's Eye. First of all, find the application. It's a sports cap with the video camera lens on it. Just go ahead and launch it. And you'll see you've got a very basic recorder interface that you're presented with. If you want to go ahead and record something, you push the record button. And, you know, that I can record something super stimulating like my fingers. When you're done recording, you push the stop button. That little animation happens down into the library. Here you have two different modes, footage, which is your raw recordings, and critiques, which are the video reviews that you make with Coach's Eye. Now, I'm not limited to uh, footage that I've recorded with Coach's Eye. I can go ahead and import uh, video in from the camera roll. I'll just go ahead and do that, choose to import that. And it will quickly compress it into a previewable mode, uh, just for performance reasons. Now I go ahead and I select that video footage, and we're going to go ahead and make fun of my golf swing here. So you can see in Coach's Eye, um, I'm presented with a basic play pause button. It'll play back through this footage. I also have a scrub wheel here where I can get very granular frame by frame uh, performance here in terms of looking at exactly what happens in the swing. Um, there's two different. There's another option here where I, I push the red button to record a critique. And what this will do is any of the actions that happen on the screen, the slow motion back and forth, the scrubbing that happens, the playback, my voice narration will be picked up and recorded. All right, so what you want to do is you want to find a point where you, uh, you can record at. And one, one thing I want to point out, too, is that Coach's Eye is really nice because it works in both portrait and landscape. And that's true for both the recorder interface as well as any of the other playback or critique recording uh, modes as well. So when I'm ready to go ahead and make my critique, I found my spot here where I want to start. I'll go ahead and push the record button. All right, let's take a look at the swing. It looks like it's a little off balance. Let's let's rewind and, and check things out. So the first thing you want to notice is that as you get back here, look at how far past over the top you are. So you're way out of position here, and that's going to make it really hard for you to get back in and hit the ball with any power at all. So way too much backswing. Another thing to focus on is right, right at this juncture, look how much elbow bend there is right in there. Now I should point out we are going to add drawing and annotation tools into here so you can do things like lines, you can do uh, the squares maybe or circles, that type of stuff. So when you're done with the recording, push stop. It's going to go ahead and make it into an H.264 uh, video file. It's the most shareable video format out on the web and on mobile phones. So it's flattening uh, all that video. Now the real power here is that it's actually doing all of this on device. We're taking advantage of the built-in hardware encoder on device. So uh, let's go ahead and review this, this little clip that I'm playing here. So you can see the quality is really nice, all of that, that smooth scrubbing back and forth, the, the freeze frames, all of that's right in there. You didn't know it, but you were actually doing some video editing just by scrubbing back and forth and playing back the video on the device. Now when I go ahead and press that share button, I've got two options, as I said. First one is YouTube. This is pretty straightforward. You go ahead and provide a title, give a description, and you have full privacy settings. Private, uh, unlisted, fully public. All set, you can set within the app. Go ahead and uh, pr press done after you've got a title. Um, and we push share and it'll go ahead and upload. I'm going to cancel out of that. The, the next thing that uh, we've got is camera roll. When you press camera roll, it actually saves it into your photo uh, library on the iPhone. So if I go into my photos here and if we pop in here, we can see right here. All right, let's take a look at the swing. That's that video that we just made with Coach's Eye. So let's get back into Coach's Eye. Now, as I uh, said, we imagine uh, adding uh, further destination sites, uh, maybe Twitter, maybe Facebook. Um, we're definitely going to integrate text messaging directly into the app. We just aren't quite there yet. Now, uh, one other thing that I want to point out is when you pop out of this and you come into the camera mode, there's this little speech bubble right here. And this is actually our viral invite system. What we want to do is encourage you, if you like our app, to tell your friends about it who, are, who might be interested, your friends, your colleagues. So you, you click on that speech bubble. What you get is the option to tell a friend via SMS. If you click on that, it's just going to open up your text messaging system. It's going to drop a, a little saying in here. I'm upping my game with Coach's Eye. Check it out at coacheseye.com. 
Um, now you pick uh, someone you want to send this to. You know, let's find a likely culprit here, maybe Shane. And we go ahead and send that off. And just like that, yeah, your friend will see, receive a notification via text. They can click on that link and they can go ahead and sign up to get further information or be directed to, to the site where they can download Coaches On. So we're really looking forward to your feedback. We want to know what you think is great, what you think is missing, any of the little details that you think uh, are important, we want to know about. Thanks a lot for testing.